Wise Guys Cooking is brought to you by Everson Spice. Here's Frankie. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the desert's premier entertainer, Frank DeSalvo. These little town blues Where old Lemon be The old teddy bear Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA Good evening folks You know my wife and I are having money problems. The only time we make both ends meet is in the bedroom. <laughs> they say too much sex can cause memory loss. The other night we went to bed and I forgot her name, really. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight, but you know, I can't remember who's on it, but I know it's a great show. So stick around, we'll be right back. No reasonable offer refused. That's our promise here at J.R. Thomas Golf Cars. Our biggest blowout sale on all pre-owned vehicles. This is a limited time offer. Sale is over in 60 days. My father, Bobby Thomas, opened up electric car distributors in 1960. I joined him in 1977, where I was groomed to run and operate a trusted golf car business. Come in now for our big blowout sale here at J.R. Thomas Golf Cars in Rancho Mirai. As my father always said, take care of your customers or someone else will. Our band leader leads a very interesting life. He just recently checked into his ancestry. Let's welcome Tony Pomponi. Hey, Frank, how are you? Good to see you. How are you? Hey, Larry, come on. Nice to have you. Good band. Better good to have Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. This is uh, something that's going on with me now. So, I go to bed, and uh, I have a bad dream sometimes that I, I, I fall out of a 10-story building. And just before I hit the ground, I wake up. So... I think, who can I call for advice? Who do I always call for advice? My father, Rocco. Papa. So I call Rocco, and I said, Pa, listen, I got a problem. I told him the story. He said, you know what? You got to move up in life. Move to the 15th floor. That way, if you fall, you could sleep a little bit longer. That's good for you. I said, you know, maybe I'll try it. That's a good idea. Well, that makes a and, lot of sense. <laughs> you know, I, I have these dreams that I was once a leader of a great African tribe. Mm. I don't understand these things. But... How could that be if I'm Italian? Well, I checked into, you know, you go on these websites mm -hmm. and uh, you find out a little bit about your family, right? Yeah. So uh, they, what do you got to do? You got to spit on a, on a towel, a piece of paper, you send it in, and uh, they come back and tell you uh, who you are, what you are, what you came from, and uh, what you got inside you. What did they find out? Well, very interesting. They found out I was African and Jewish blood, <laughs> along with my Italian, okay? I said, wow, I found out my great, 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 that's four great, Frank. Four famous Italian Africans. His name was Kunta Giovanni Kanish. Kunta Giovanni Kanish. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd order in a Jewish deli. Larry, that's the smartest thing you've said all day. You know, I also learned that my grandma was a fashion designer. What she used to do, she used to take uh, the tablecloth, you know, you know, we call it a mandilo, and uh, with the red and white checkers, and she used to make a ties. Mm. Because, see, when we used to eat, uh, my grandpa, everybody used to spill on top of there. So she'd cut it up nice where the, the spill is over there. And when she made the tie, if you spill, because, you know, when you get a little bit older, these things, they don't go straight down. They hit over here when you, when you, you know, get a little pasta sauce. And uh, now when it goes down, you don't see it, everything's good. So mm. she made a lot of money selling these ties. Wow. You know, Tony, <laughs> sounds like you're... Family tree's got a lot of nuts in it. By the way, what was the name of the website? Well, it's who do you looking for a goomba.com. Who do you looking for a goomba.com? Yeah, you know why? Because I forget the correct one, but I'll get it to you sooner or later, okay? okay. Anyway, so what do you do? You sneeze in a, in a napkin, a fazzoletto, uh, you know, the one you use to blow the nose? Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you send it in, and they find out uh, in a few weeks uh, what your uh, family tree is. I see. Very interesting. Well, folks, that's why we love Tony. Listen, we'll be right back. Let's hear it for Tony Pomponio. I 
I gotta get my luggage packed. I'm leaving town, I won't be back. In the mood for some real Italian today? Then stop by either of our locations in Palm Springs or Palm Desert. Whether you want a handcrafted sandwich from our deli counter or a garden fresh salad for lunch, the real Italian deli is a real find. Choose from our wide variety of hot meals such as lasagna bolognese, eggplant parmesan, and many others you can eat in or take home. We stock a wide variety of cheeses, sauces, pastas, and desserts so decadent you'll think you need a passport to buy them. So stop by today for lunch or let us send you home with dinner for tonight. Hey Frankie, Frankie, oh, my boy, good to How see are you, Doc. What's wrong? What's what's going on? How can I help you? Well, you know, it's very strange. I feel like I'm Frank Sinatra. I, I walk like Frank. I talk like Frank. I sing like Frank. I've even got blue eyes like Frank. Well, that is strange. Tell me about your life, then. Tell me about your life as Frank Sinatra. Where, where, where did it start? How, when, what? Well, I can't really say where or when, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, it's kind of like uh, witchcraft, you know? Well, just blame it on my youth. I, I don't know. Um, you know, as I got older, I got obsessed with Frank, mm -hmm. and... Uh, I wanted to do things my way, but I found out I was doing things his way. Well, it definitely sounds like an interesting life. It's interesting, all right. You know, when I was 35, well, it was a very good year. It was a very good year for blue-blooded girls of independent means. <laughs> We'd ride in limousines, mm -hmm. and their chauffeurs would drive when I was 35. <laughs> well, you know, I remember one time, it was a foggy day in London town, and I met this beautiful broad. We spent a lot of time together. And you know, uh, the next thing I know, she was talking about love and marriage. Well. <laughs> I wasn't about to fall into that trap, no matter how tender. But I told her, hey, baby, I get a kick out of you. But this can't go on from here to eternity. You know what she said? Don't worry about me. I'll get along. Well, well like I said, Frank, you've had quite an interesting life. But what I don't understand is why are you so depressed? Well, gosh, you know, I feel like uh, the days are short, like I'm in the autumn of my life. I, I think of myself as vintage wine from fine old kegs. Well, maybe uh, too much wine from Frank's old kegs. Well, <laughs> maybe so, Doc. But you know, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Come rain or come shine. Well, I think you will. And I think we will. And I think I can, I can help you with this, but it's not gonna be easy. Mm. In the record business vernacular that you're, I'm sure you're used to, this is not gonna be a uh, single. I'm afraid this is gonna be a, a long album. Mm, yeah. Boy, well, Doc, <laughs> I'm with you all the way. And Doc, I want you to know, I believe in you, and you know I just can't help feeling that uh, the best is yet to come. <laughs> well, me too, Frank, me too. Look, we're gonna get to the bottom of this, make an appointment with my secretary, Ava, and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks Good. a lot.
Good to see you. Ava, would you send in the, uh, is there anybody out there? Hey, Tony. Tony, it's good to see you. What's that? Uh, you know, I got a lot of problems. <laughs> you know, I think I'm uh, Rodney Dangerfield. I get no respect, you know? <laughs> Gotta get my luggage packed. I'm leaving town, it won't be. Everyone has someone they trust to give them advice about marriage, love, politics. Tony the Godfather Di Gelando answers your questions and more. Let's hear it for Tony the Godfather Di Gelando. <laughs> Our first letter comes from Mary Bente from Oak Park. Mary says, skinny people irritate me, especially when they say, sometimes I just forget to eat. You know, Larry, sometimes I forget where I put my keys. I forget where I parked my car. I forget my mom-in-law's name one time. But what kind of stunad forgets to eat? <laughs> Maria Ambrose from Gary asks, Godfather, what's Victoria's secret? <laughs> The secret of Victoria's Secret is that nobody over 30 can wear that stuff. <laughs> Josefina Pando from Roselle. She wants to know if you jog every day. Huh. I gave up jogging years ago when my thighs got too big. They rubbed together. Gabish. Pretty soon, my underwear caught on fire. It was almost a tragedy. <laughs> and Giovanni Gambino wants to know, how can you tell if you're getting fat? You know you're getting fat when you park your car and then you get out on the driver's side and you stand there for a minute and some cop come by it and gives you a ticket for double parking. <laughs> and Guido D'Amico writes, my wife is black and blue. She puts on cold cream, face cream, wrinkle cream, vanishing cream, hand cream, skin cream. She does this every night. Why should it make her black and blue, Godfather? Well, she's so greased up, she slides off the bed and bangs her face on the floor. <laughs> we learned a lot today. If only we could remember some of it. Don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. I gotta get my luggage We are at the beautiful Palm Desert Resort Country Club, and we're going to go in and meet with Chef John Dutra, and he's going to cook us a couple dishes, and uh, it's going to be great. I'm also going to have a special guest today, Tony DiGiorlano. Okay. So let's go inside and let's go meet with the chef. Hey, there he is. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? Hey, what are you going to cook? What are you, what what are you going to cook for us today? I got some great special dishes. Hey, here. we're lucky guys today. Oh, we're here. Can I make calabrese? My favorite, my favorite. Yeah. And wait. We do, we do, we do. Oh, that's good. That takes away all diseases. All right. Then we're gonna add some shrimp. These are tiger prawns. Okay. You walk right into that one, Tony. They got Tiger Woman too. You know, I used to go out with one, but it does strike. Salt, pepper, bunch of parsley. You know, the chef just uses a pinch. He, he, he uses his hand his as a measuring device. Pretty big right. pinch. You know, somebody comes up to you and says, how much of this, how much of that? You That's tell right. them, watch my hands, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to get these cooked. So it starts off just like a basic scampi dish. Oh, look at that. I, I love the color. It's great. 
<laughs> so I added my artichoke hearts and some diced tomatoes. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add some white that. wine. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. We're going to get that. They're all getting happy. Oh. If you have smell of vision at home, it smells great. The secret to this dish, it gives it a little bit of creaminess, is I add some alfredo to it. Okay, not much, just enough. Now watch as it gets happy. As it gets what? Happy. 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 Getting very happy. <laughs> and at this point, you just add in your, I add angel hair pasta. And same thing applies to angel hair. It's slightly pre-cooked al dente, right? Yep, it's cooked al dente. Very good. Done in an ice bath. When I get home from work, and my wife doesn't feel like cooking for me, Yeah. I can do this in five minutes. Really? Everything's in the fridge. I could imagine. I would assume your wife's going to be a pretty wait, good wait, cook wait, as well. Wait, no. Could you do I'm me a favor? <laughs> wait a minute, could you adopt me? Sure. <laughs> and that's it, a few flips. You don't put no cheese on that? Cheese comes on at the end. Oh. Otherwise it's going to melt, right? Yeah. So what do you prefer, Parmesan or Romano on a dish like this? I actually do both. Both, huh? I like the combo. Oh, okay. You're so complicated. I knew All right. Way. Let's get you guys some food. Wow. You can give them the big one. I'll tell you what, folks, it's hard to just sit here and watch, okay? I mean, you can't wait to dig in. I know Tony's over here itching. I'm dying. <laughs> This is no way to treat a veteran, you know? Hey, you know what? You're the godfather. That's why I brought you here today. That's right. Up the plate. A little bit of Parmesan. Mm -hmm. You don't want to taste it. You notice I'm trying to grab the dish before you There you go. It. Oh, look. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, one for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. How nice is that, huh? Just, just like Mama's Monogas. You know, you I'll be honest with you. I've <laughs> seen these plates done this way similar before. And when you tilt it, you have nothing but oil pouring out. This is just so balanced, and it's, it's beautiful. beautifully done. And uh, I'm telling you, it's a picture. Hey, I got the tip it. jar out there. Now I just start with some basil oil. This is basil oil that I make myself. It's got Italian sausage. Okay. Got How's Italian that? sausage. Is that hot or mild sausage, Chef? Yeah, it's up to you. I use mild. Yeah. But if you like it spicy. Get good. it spicy. Then we're going to throw in a bunch of garlic. I guess garlic would be according to, you know, your taste, right? Yeah. Do you like a lot of garlic yourself? My taste is a lot. So pretty simple stuff. We're going to bring that to temp. Now the nice thing about this dish, and both these dishes, as you can see, you can prep this, even do it the day before, so you get home from a long day of work. And you can just get to work, get it done, five minutes. You boil it out that day. Yeah. Then you put it in an ice bath. The ice bath will stop the cooking. You want to tell the Amerigans what uh, al dente means? Al dente means to the bite. A little bit of a bite to it. A little term. Yeah. So, Chef, I see that uh, you're using penne de gatti. Yes. Is there a reason for that? It's penne calabrese. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Made some house more and more. Maranata. We're adding some marinara. Well, that looks good. And Maranata. the secret to this is I add some alfredo. Ooh. Mix them together. Tony, easy there. Ooh. <laughs> I think Tony's ready to Ooh. eat now. <laughs> so we're going to bring this to temp. Season it up. Salt, pepper. I see you just use a touch, huh? Just yeah, got not my too feel. much. Yep. Go ahead. Then we're going to add some fresh basil. Okay, go ahead. And that's the secret to the dish. It has a component that just makes it melt in your mouth. Fresh by the Lego, very nice. Okay. Then we're going to add some uh, penne. Oh, my, God. my mouth is watering already. <laughs> Wait a minute, this isn't for you, this is for me. That's just for uh, you? No, that's okay. You're going to share, right? That's it, this is the only time you're going to be on the show. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, I'll eat enough for, to last the whole season. <laughs> Hey, so what do you think, huh? I think we ought to do this again and again and again and get this a guy to cook for us at least three, four more times. You know, I, I really agree with you, and I'm going to tell you something. I want to thank you for allowing us and making it happen for us to be here today. Well, I, I want to say one thing. Yeah. 
uh, that Chef John Dutra is very easy. I mean, you can go in the girls' bathroom, it says John Dutra is very easy. I mean, he's an easy guy. <laughs> he, he, he lets you, okay. you call him up, he'll cook dinner, he'll cook, I okay. want breakfast, he'll come over early in the morning okay. and cook your breakfast. No, but he's a real hospitable guy. Hey, John, how are you? Hey, everything is great. We're just talking about the women's bathroom. It's okay. Uh, I, so, I can't make up my mind. Uh, Saturday, what do you do here? I clean up, you know, I mop a little bit, I get the ashtrays. You got an extra apron for this guy? That's right. Yeah. No, anyway. I sing, I sing everything, every country, rock and roll, whatever you want. Yeah. You want Elvis, you want uh, Neil Diamond, you want Neil Sedaka, you want uh, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, you're on your own. Okay, but I can do anything else. You know, getting back to the food, Chef, you know what? When you said al dente, you were right on the money. It's mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I come, I come from Italian family. My grandparents, my grandpa was a chef. Uh, my dad was a chef for many years, and I'll tell you what, you've done a terrific job. I mean, you are really got it going on here. Don't really forget to catch it. our TV show, Wise Guys Cooking. I play the Godfather. Tony's a, the head of the music department. He's also there for laughs. He's a very funny guy. It is what it is. No, we, we're, we're, it's a good show. Hey, and listen, folks, I'm going to have to cut him off because this guy will uh, go on and uh, we're uh, going to turn it into a one-hour show. A lot okay? of people wonder where we shoot the, sh the show at. There you okay? go, see? But I want to tell you something. We shoot it at Sam Giancana's basement where he got whacked, okay? So we don't want to tell nobody, but I'm telling everybody now, okay? Is that why we all drive black Lincolns with oh, drugs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, listen, folks, thanks for being here with us tonight, and we'll see you again soon. Everybody... Love somebody sometimes Everybody falls in love somehow You know, I haven't been around a long time, but I, I talked to the mayor of Beverly Hills. Beverly, there's a V in there. <laughs> Beverly Hills, and you know, he was so kind. He put a sign on the corner of my block that said, Crawl or don't crawl. <laughs> That's what he did. Johnny Morris, there he is. Come fly with me, come fly, come fly away. If you could use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Fa Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. That was beautiful, Frank. We'll be right back. Well, hi folks, welcome to Wise Guys Cooking. My name is Frank DeSalvo. As you can see, I'm Frank with everybody. Well, today's gonna be a fun day because we're gonna be cooking a classic Alfredo sauce and we're gonna add pesto and shrimp and put it on linguine. It's gonna be bellissimo. Well, we're starting out with uh, pale dry sherry. And uh, what we wanna do is we wanna bring the sherry up to a boil because we want to burn the alcohol off. Well, we got the sherry boiling right now and the alcohol is boiling off. So once that's done, we're gonna add some unsalted butter. We're gonna add some fresh Parmesan cheese right afterwards and the Parmesan cheese has all the salt in that that you need for the recipe. So here we go. That's looking good. After the butter, of course, we're going to add heavy cream. We'll marriage that in there. Next thing, fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to turn this down to simmer and Heat up our linguine. This should be ready in a minute or two. Fresh pesto into the Alfredo. And a goodly amount. You want a nice uh, green looking sauce. I'll tell you, this is a winner. All your guests, whenever you cook this, will love Alfredo with pesto. Now, 
Once we get this all blended in together, we're gonna put some nice bay shrimp in there. And here we go, look at that. The beauties. Mm -hmm. Okay, linguine al dente. And of course, the dish there, nice, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, and we're just finishing up, getting the shrimp nice, and we're gonna pour it all over the linguine. And what we say in Sicilian is we're gonna gonza it, and that means to mix it up. Absolutely wonderful. Well, folks, I hope you like my Alfredo pesto with shrimp. And thanks for watching Wise Guys Cooking. In the moment, though you're desperate and down, in a moment, it can all turn around. It's a fact I've known to be true from the moment I saw you. And the magic that it makes In a moment, just a casual glance Changes slowly to the maddest romance A new life, a new attitude In a moment, set or lose In a matter of no time at all You can win with your back to the wall With a card of the river, your aces It's a fact I'm known to be true From the moment I saw you